Hi, this is Josh Marshall from TPM Media. It's Friday, March the 23rd, 2007. A lot of you have asked in this whole U.S. attorney purge story, if the U.S. attorneys were fired, who are they replacing them with? Who are the new U.S. attorneys going to be that they were going to use this USA Patriot Act provision to uh, install them with? Well, we've got one of them today, and his name's Tim Griffin. Tim Griffin is the United States Attorney for the Eastern District of Arkansas. White House Advisor Carl Rove and White House Counsel Harriet Myers had the former U.S. Attorney, Bud Cummins, fired to make room for Griffin. On December 15, 2006, Tim Griffin was installed using a little-known provision of the USA Patriot Act. The provision allows the Attorney General to appoint interim United States Attorneys without the need for Senate confirmation. Just four days later, on December 19th, an email exchange between Attorney General Alberto Gonzalez Chief of Staff Kyle Sampson and Monica Goodling, the Justice Department's liaison to the White House, literally spelled out the strategy behind Griffin's installment. On the Attorney General's authority to appoint interim U.S. attorneys, Sampson wrote, there's some risk that we'll lose the authority, but if we don't exercise it, then what's the point of having it? Samson even seemed to concede that Griffin's appointment might raise his eyebrows, but there was a particular reason why they needed to get him in. I'm not 100% sure that Tim was the guy on which to test drive this authority, but know that getting him appointed was important to Harriet and Carl. Harriet, of course, is Harriet Myers, the White House counsel, and Carl is obviously Carl Rove. The question is, why was it so important to make Tim Griffin the U.S. attorney in Arkansas? The answer starts to become more clear when you look at his background. Before Griffin became United States Attorney, he was one of the most accomplished and well-known opposition researchers in the Republican Party, and he was also the right-hand man of Karl Rove. Playing Dirty is the title of Josh Green's 2004 Atlantic Monthly article on oppo researchers. The piece begins with a description of the 2000 BBC documentary, Digging Dirt. BBC journalists got a ringside view of the Bush-Cheney oppo research war room run by Tim Griffin. One scene depicts the debate night frenzy, and Griffin describes his own role as the guy who makes the bullets in the war against Democrats. Man your battle station, don't be right back. Research is a fundamental point. We think of ourselves as the creators of the ammunition uh, in a war. Research digs up the ammunition. You make the bullets. That's right, we make the bullets. In mid-February, Griffin told the McClatchy News Service, I will be here as long as the White House and the Department of Justice wants me here. Under the law, I could be here hypothetically until the end of 2008 or early 2009. 